Welcome everyone, it's me, Soul Gardner, and I'm here with the midweek update. I'm excited because guess what? There's a new project in the garden. Although I enjoy growing food, I also enjoy flowers. So if you haven't figured that out by now, there's going to be a lot of flowers in between harvest and gardening work. Thanks so much for watching. Welcome everyone, it's me Slow Gardener and today I have a gardening project. So I have to keep up with my weekly therapy sessions and my weekly therapy sessions are adding new stuff to the garden that I create. So today's goal is to move these two plants here which is my milkweed. That's milkweed and marigolds and this was milkweed and sunflowers until the sunflowers died. So these are my biggest caterpillar attractors in the garden and this is where the majority of my butterflies, the butterflies that come into the garden lays their eggs. I've taken 70 something caterpillars off of these in the past week. So we are relocating these eventually to the pollinator area over here. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to relocate them over there. But I wanted to get them out of this area anyways because they attract wasps. Anytime you have plants with caterpillars on them, they attract wasps. And this is where I sit when I come out into the garden. I like to come out here, meditate, reflect, um, you know, just push out negative energy and soak up positive energy and this is where I do it so I am move, re removing these because my intentions was adding something colorful and not really colorful colorful but aromatic and that is the biggest catcher for me since adding those two they are aromatic the jasmine is also aromatic but I want to keep with the theme of having fragrance. So when I'm sitting out here and relaxing, it just smells sweet everywhere. Which it does now. Like even when I'm up on the hill, I can smell jasmine. So what I'm about to do is create two new pots that will go here. These are the pots, Aztec Pottery. I got these from Home Depot and what I'm adding to them is gardenia trees so I've always wanted gardenia trees but they're always expensive at Home Depot and Lowe's I went to my local nursery and they had them cheap so I was like this is what I'm getting first I was gonna get roses but roses require you having to constantly trim them in order for them to flower. So as you can see right now, we have buds, gardenia buds coming in. So I have two plants right here, one and two. So what I'm gonna do is take some flowers I already have in my garden, my coleus, I'm gonna add, but then I also purchased these chastity daisies that I'm going to add around the base of the pot and we are also adding some oregano and the reason why I'm adding oregano is because wasp it deters wasp they don't like the smell of oregano and I have some flowers here I'm not sure what they are but I started them from seeds so I'm also going to add them around the base of the pot but my main focus uh, of this is to have gardenias. So this is what it looks like before with the milkweed on both sides and the marigolds. And I'm gonna show you after I put my pots together what they look like. So we have potting soil. Oh, I do have more stuff I'm adding, sorry guys. We have heather and these winkas. Vincas that I got from my local plant nursery. So, yeah, I'm gonna put these pots together and I will be back shortly to show you what they look like. Stay tuned. 
I also like to add bone meal to my flower pots because it helps with bigger blooms and roots. So this is what I have right here that I will also be adding to my pots. So I sprinkled some bone meal in here. I put a small amount of soil because as you can see, this gardenia is already in the pot. So I may have to take some of the roots off, but we shall see when I remove it to see if it's okay. I'll sprinkle a little bit more on there. Okay guys, I wanna show you. This is what it ended up being when I took it out that huge pot. They were faking on me. So that's good because they'll allow more room for me to plant the other plants along the edges. And I'm also gonna add worm castings to this pot, guys, and some azomite rock dust. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have our pure worm castings and our azomite rock dust. I like adding these whenever I'm doing new pottings. And it seems to make the plants happy, so I'm happy that they are happy. And that's all that matters, right? Happy plants. Just sprinkle a little bit right here. So now, let's arrange this thing and see what we get. This pot is so small that we're going to be very strategic about how many plants we're going to put in here because we want to have enough room for our roots of this tree to grow so that it can grow tall and healthy and it can push out better blooms but we just want to have some cuteness all up in there right so i'm going to be splitting up these plants and i won't be putting all of them in the pot just you know playing around guys have fun with it okay guys so i am about to separate this heather since it is the largest one in here when you purchase plants from your from anywhere nine times out of ten they have more than one plant in the pot and you can split them up and have two plants let me show you so we went from one right here to two right here and move out those roots. So I'm just going to stick this back there. And then I have these Vencas. We've been getting so much rain, so we have yellowing. And the yellowing is not necessarily from the rain. It's because look at those roots. I like to tear up the roots. To give them room to breathe and whatnot. I'm just taking off these yellowing leaves here because they're ugly. <laughs> we'll get some new ones. Okay, so next we will try our chastity daisies. Okay guys, so you want to split your store-bought plants up because uh, 9 times out of 10, like I told you, they like, to, they like to squish them in the same pot and you got more plants than you actually think you got. And then you could just spread them out. So I'll continue separating these and getting them around the base of this planter. Okay guys, so this is my pot with my gardenia tree in it. And I added sweet potato vines. That's real life sweet potato. I'm not expecting them to grow big. I'm not trying to get food. I just like the way the vines look when they're scrawling out. So I'm putting this one over here. And what I'm going to do is train the vines to go along that way. So this is it, guys. This is one. And I got one more to bring over here and I'll relocate this one over there. 
and I'll show you guys when I'm finished. I was trying to get finished before the sun goes down, but I wanted to show you what they look like. And all right guys, so this is it. This is what it looks like. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So I am looking forward to the blooms, the gardenia blooms opening up. And when they do, I will surely make a video to show you the blooms. But I can already smell it. You know, if you smell gardenias, you know the sweet fragrance of gardenias. So I already have the jasmine right here smelling good. Now we have two gardenia trees. So it also opens up this area here. As you can see, now I can see my planters more and they're not hiding behind the tall marigolds and the milkweed. And then it helps highlight the coleus there and then my citrus tree. But that's where I move them. And those are my main plants that I get my milkweed not my wheat, my monarch ca caterpillars off of. So let me know what you guys think of it. I did this in less than an hour. It was fun. It's fun going to the store, picking out plants. It's fun putting these plant, picking out a planter, putting the plants in, in the planter, and then placing it where you want to place it. So I really enjoyed this. Next year, or maybe fall I'm gonna focus on growing more of the flowers where I can create different planters throughout the garden so let me know what you guys think of this if you like this video please hit like please comment share and subscribe if you're not already a member of my channel my garden is more about bringing flowers into the garden for the pollinators and not only only the pollinators but for my beauty and for me to get to enjoy and see so thank you so much guys for checking out what i'm doing crazy in my garden guys thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day Bye bye